Hey y'all, what is up? It's Kimberly and I'm editing my video right now and just realized that I didn't have an intro. I had one but it was a long ramble and I was just like, Kimberly, nobody cares. So here's my alternative intro. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please have an open mind about this video. It was a very far reach. I know that. I'm aware of that. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. So in today's video, I'm going to be comparing similarities between Germany and Texas. Today's video is actually a collaboration with Zach Zaleski. I'm gonna go ahead and link his video down below in the description. His video is going to be talking about similarities between Ohio and Germany. So if you're interested in that, I have a link down below. And if you like American and Germany content, then you should definitely check out Zach's channel. He posts a lot of those videos as well as vlogs about Ohio. So definitely check out his channel. Zach, thanks again for doing this collaboration with me super last minute. So without further ado, let's get started. First, I wanna point out that Kelly Does Her Thing made a video talking about similarities between Bavaria and Texas. I thought this video was excellent, well-researched, and she has a lot of very good valid points. So I'm gonna go ahead and link her video down below in the description where she compares Bavaria to Texas. Uh, buff, 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 buff. This video is going to be talking about Texas and Germany in a broader sense. So the first similarity is love of beer. Germans love their beer. Um, yeah, the amount of Germans I've heard talking about how great their beer is and breweries um, and different types of beers is pretty similar to how Texans pride themselves on having the best beer in the U.S. Um, Texans really do love their beer and I think a lot of it has been influenced by Germany. I think that Texans have really taken the beer culture in Germany and have tried to implement it here. Um, in Houston we have quite a few beer gardens which I was surprised to learn about. And we have this one beer here in Texas called Karbach and it's almost like you're a part of a club if you enjoy Karbach. It's like you enjoy finer beers. In Germany, I think it would be more of a mediocre beer because it is canned beer, but it is still, I think, pretty up to par with German beer. So number two is that they both value tradition. And I think a large part of this is that Texas was its own republic before it was a part of the United States. So I think it really prides itself on having its own culture and its own background and its own history more so than the other U.S. states. Here in Texas, we actually celebrate a lot of nationalistic holidays that other states don't celebrate, and it's in regard to our Texas history. Um, so it's really unique and different. We also have a lot of various traditions here in Texas that other states don't have and that we still do to this day just like Germany has their own traditions, their own type of Christmas traditions, um, school traditions. We have ours in Texas as well. Okay, number three is that Texas is proud of its German history and ancestors. I have met so many Texans that say that they're German and then I find out later on that they're not. It was just like their great, 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 great grandma or grandpa that was German and they still hold on to that. So Texas is definitely proud of its German heritage and culture, um, and that's prevalent in a lot of cities in central Texas. You have New Braunfels, you have um, Fredericksburg. I actually went to Fredericksburg and interviewed somebody that grew up in a Texas German culture and lifestyle. So if y'all wanna see that video, I'll have that video linked around here. Um, so yes, I think Texas is very proud of its German culture. And I would argue that Germans are actually very prideful of Americans that have German backgrounds too. Um, because I hear a lot of Germans say like, oh, you know, so-and-so is German and it's usually Hollywood stars. So I think that they do have that type of similar interest in one another. So like Texas is proud that they have a German background and I hear a lot of Germans also proud of the celebrities in Hollywood that have German origins. And the last point that I have is that Texas has a huge immigration population. So like myself, I'm half Honduran and half I don't know, Caucasian, white American. Texas has a large population of Central and South Americans as well as Mexicans. Um, so 
we have these large populations and it's very prevalent in our food. So you see that with Tex-Mex, um, it's not actually Mexican food, it's like a twist of American meats, Mexican food. And I think it's very similar in Germany as well. You have a large Turkish population in Germany and um, you see that in German food. It's becoming really influenced by the Turkish, po Turkish population. Um, so you have donut kebab, you have a lot of Turkish fast food and it's everywhere um so that's definitely because of turkish turkish influence so i think that's a huge similarity that both texas and germany share and that's why i love both of these countries um because they do have that large immigrant culture so while i was doing a little bit of thinking and research for this video i really do think that i came to the conclusion that texas and germany don't have as many similarities um, as they do have things that are different, if that makes any sense. But it was really interesting to see the few similarities and I think that last point was the largest similarity between the two. But regardless, it was still super interesting to make this video and to really think about some similarities between Texas and Germany. I'm super excited to see what the similarities are between Ohio and Germany to hear if it's more similar than Texas and Germany. Um, but again, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to comment down below if you can think of any similarities or if you totally just disagree with me. I'm okay with that too. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. Ciao, tschüss, bis dann.